Welcome back everybody, sleepyheads, guys and gals, and this time this might be the end of the video. Well, no, I mean like this game series. I recall this is a short visual novel, and we've been grinding day in day out to like finish it. So here we go. Yes, Colonel. It's only been about 10 minutes since Suspect Okoze escaped. Okay. Lieutenant Colonel, fortunately, Kase Town is not a large town. Means of escape should be limited. We should be within range to catch up. Alright, an order for shooting is been issued. Oh my goodness! But she is one dangerous baddie. Hey, dab me up. Holy. Ooh, that's a. That, that looks like a Borderlands weapon. Or maybe a Scorn? Scorn, the game? Was it Scorn? I think it was Scorn. I might be wrong. You know, that uh, that cool, stylistic, uh, apocalyptic, techno, alien, de I wouldn't say demon. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like alien, you know, the movie franchise, and then techno horror mix into one another creates a hellish landscape i don't know i could be wrong here take this okay colonel you understand how to handle a pistol right these are bullets that turns pain into the will to kill just mundane lead bullets can't change anything in this world let me move the mic it's gonna squeak a bit <laughs> yep yep i hit it twice better not look back and be naughty well i don't fucking know what i'm talking about i'm like not in the i'm not locked in right now the only thing that can destroy something is a strong wish a strong resolve braving only that makes you invincible is this i thought it was like a reference please don't fear pain i'm with you it's not a trick nor a boring unrealistic joke colonel i'm with you you are hearing me, right? Can you see my face? Can you hear my voice? My revered proud master. When you align the vector of your heart to specific coordinates, I am always be there to witness it. Please believe. Then please take care, Colonel. May your adventure be incredibly enjoyable. This whole world is fabricated, man. This is crazy. So I was like checking. Hello, Colonel. We meet again. Are you in such a hurry? Is something urgent? I'm looking for a woman. Don't we all? Aren't we all looking for a woman in some place, some place of night? She looked frantic, running desperately somewhere. Colonel, if it's alright, may I ask you something? I'm in a hurry, my man. I gotta bounce. Why are you here? But this is just absurd, isn't it? You didn't wish for any of this. That lonely bastard just wished for it on its own. You're not anything like this. Soldiers, guns, death, blood, and intestines? You have absolutely no connection to those things. You're a simple person. You're so peaceful, never even raise your voice. The first edition of Narnia is a treasure. Sure, you were certainly cantercarous, abstruse, and self-constricting. Those are some cool words, man. First time seeing them. Always try oh, always tying yourself up in knots with your own convoluted reasoning, but you couldn't have possibly wished for a word like this. Besides, even that damn bitch didn't love you in the end, did she? She just tossed you away like a rag. You shouldn't be here. Who are you, my man? I'm no one special. I am the observer. The one who's been watching you. You must have realized by now this is the interior of a world created by a certain human's wish. But what a joke it is. Look at this terrible sight. There are no actual humans here. No, not even creatures. Not a single blade of grass grows here. So indifferent to the world, it's laughable. They must have been someone completely devoid of anything outside of their head. Ah yes, they are terribly introspective. They are ter terribly introspective individual. They carry sins and regrets as big as Jupiter. But I'm here, so I'm here. Right? Because I mean, a world where everything goes according to your convenience, there's nothing more fucking worthless than that, right? So you're given the right to choose, and I'm living in this broken town. It's a grotesque, no doubt about that. On that one point, they're fair. Well, I hate them. Binding you in such a shitable place just that makes me sick to my stomach. I'm saying this for you. Just leave from here. No, I gotta find her. So that's her decision, huh? <laughs> but somehow I feel like I knew it all along that you wouldn't. You would continue the story. You, who I know, the one who loved, who loved adventure and humanity more than anyone else. She went to the sea, my man. She might be planning to die alone. I'm just speculating. Honestly, I don't know. I wasn't very close to her, to be honest. It's probably best to catch up to her soon. I warned you. 
<laughs> well, it's nothing new for you not to listen to me. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. First, I guess, observer friend. Yeah, we probably won't meet again. And that's how it should be. Do you remember? When we were in elementary school, we floated a rubber boat in the waterway together. We wanted to see how far we could go, right? We were so excited we knew like we could go anywhere, but somewhere along the way we became terribly afraid of that future. What if we really could go anywhere? What if we forgot the way back and were trapped in the night's embrace? Now that I think about it, we probably couldn't have even traveled the distance of one station to another. When we were children, we feared the infinite expanding world, but still we couldn't stop moving forward. I've always wanted to ask you, was your adventure incredibly enjoyable? No. No. Asking you that now would be a betrayal. Please forget it, it's probably just my weakness. So maybe this is just self-loathing after all. Goodbye, my friend. May your path ahead be filled with wondrous things. Goodbye as well. Thank you. Finally, something, someone that's kind of nice. Maybe we all need a little bit... Uh, uh, someone that would give us a hype. A hype man, as I would say. Now, when you're down the dumps... There's some, got someone backing you up. That's powerful. Hey. Hey, uh... On our days off, I want you to make pancakes. On the days we can wake up together, because it feels happy, doesn't it? I'll make sunny side up eggs then. I'll also prepare maple syrup. I'm not the morning person, so I'm worried if I can wake up. So wake me up, okay? Then I'll do my best, alright? If I'm in a bad mood and kick you, I'm sorry, okay? I burp, sorry. And then if the weather is nice that day and the sky is nice and blue, should we go for a little trip, maybe to the sea? I'm not good at swimming and I'm afraid of sea slugs, but I'll sit on the beach and watch the sea. I'll lie down, hold your hand, and look up at the sky. And get my clothes covered in sand. And maybe dip my bare feet in the seawater, just a little. It'd be, it would be fun if there were hermit crabs and petting dogs we meet on walks. For lunch, let's go to a delicious soba restaurant and have shaved ice for dessert. Then regret a bit of then regret a bit for eating too much. It'll sure to be fun. It'll sure to be fun. Hmm? Colonel, what brings you here? The outskirts of the town? Me? Well I guess I just want to see the edge of the world. I want to know the shape of the world. I am the keeper of wisdom for you, for everyone. Hmm, I see. This world seems to have a limited expanse. Perhaps it means that fulfilling this wish didn't require distance or vastness. What a lonely place. It's terribly quiet, almost as if even destruction has come to an end. Yet somehow it's beautiful. This must be the radiance of sadness. If, if your wish were granted and you could create a world, what kind of world do you think would emerge? Surface level wishes won't do, sham prayers won't do. The true deepest wish of the heart. If it were to take form, it would resemble as madness. A genuine longing that humans would never want anyone to see. I, I'm afraid that no matter who it is, they might create a terribly distorted, horribly corrupted, terribly ugly, inhuman-like universe no matter who it is. I think that a little bit. Or perhaps is that my hope? Do you think it's sad? Or beautiful? Hey, isn't intelligence really troublesome? Everyone should want to be pure, righteous, and beautiful deep down, just wanting to savor quiet happiness. We can't just love the world. What did the creator of this world wish for? That's my question as well. Why is this world so lonely? Why is it so... But what happened? In my feeble memory, I thought you were more talkative. Is that so? It's fine, yeah, it's fine. This world is terribly multifaceted. Perhaps it greatly differs depending on the viewer, the observed location, and the circumstances. It's endlessly varied without any definite cor correctness, very unbalanced. So surely your form will also change depending on the observation. Or perhaps it's your role to decide that. I believe that the person who created this world was deeply in love with humanity. It's almost as if they're clinging to the feet of God, praying for something, isn't it? So clingy, miserably. There must be someone who can't believe in anything anymore. It's almost night. Are you looking for her? 
I see. Is there anything I can do? Yes, this is a distorted world, introspective, self-restrained, illogical universe. Having La La Pla Laplace's demon as our neighbor, we should not place value on time or rules in this world. Pay attention to the discontinuity, got it? And one more thing, you have to make a decision. But it shouldn't be something terribly difficult. It should be an incredible, incredibly simple conclusion. It is sure to be a process accompanied by great pain. Because you know, wishes that come true too easily, they're worthless. People can't seek happiness that can't be fantasized. We can't become anything other than ourselves. It's very sad, I know. So never stop fantasizing. That alone can create value in this fundamentally empty world. Perhaps that's just the ramblings of an old man. I'm sorry for stopping you when I can't even offer much of a conversation. Truly, truly, I've never been able to do anything. There must have been something I could do for you. Are you going to deceive sorrow from now on? If so, you should be careful. The sea at night is beautiful but dangerous. Ah, uh, to be honest, I actually had quite a bit of fun in this world. It may have been arrogant, ugly, and short-lived dream, but I got to see you again. Hmm. Instead of listening to an old man's tales, there are things you should do, right? Take care, my son. Go see the end through. If there is a next life, next time you must not die before me. This is just a hypothetical scenario. But if sacrificing my life alone would make everyone in the world happy? Should we choose death with a smile? Mm. And you look so sad. I said it was just a hypothetical scenario, didn't I? This is just a wordless thought experiment. It's not something to take seriously. Really? Well, yeah, I mean, I've been told it by friends too that I'm pessimistic or stubborn, even though I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be. Yeah, that guy who isn't really friendly with you, why can't you two get along better? But let's get back to the topic. It's what you'd call self-sacrifice. It's not a big deal, even goats have individuals who choose death to protect the herd. That's exactly the same should individuals sacrifice themselves for the sake of the species. At least when I'm talking about nature, I think that's probably the right thing to do. Clearly any form of life is so afraid of extinction and change. No, it's not just about life when you think about it. Even the movement of stars, molecules, temperature, and gravity. It tries to stabilize, it tries not to change. I wonder why. Why does the universe strive to change? Why does time exist and the world shift? Why can't this place remain unchanged forever? Explaining that with the multiverse theory is easy. The universe, the universe exists infinitely and we just happen to observe it by chance. Or you can leave the explanation to God. That's a very simple and certain story with salvation. So, it's understandable to want to conclude with a know-it-all attitude that human life is insignificant. For the sake of the colossal creature known as humanity, which may continue for thousands or tens of thousands of years from now, it's understandable to have the determination to sacrifice yourself for it. But I... What will I, as a human, do in that situation? If I were to die and everyone in the world would be saved? Hmm. At the very least, I wouldn't be able to die with a smile. I'd probably be so scared trembling with a pale face making that decision. Haha, <laughs> even though I said it myself, I can't come to a conclusion. Well, in a way, that's my conclusion, I suppose. Hmm? You? You okay? Right. Yeah. You're like that. That's why I admire you re and really want to cherish you. But, don't know how to put this. It's a terrible insult to deny someone's decision. Everybody, everyone should have different opinions, don't you think? But no, that's why. If you were to die and the world would be saved. Even then and forevermore, I want you to never give up hope. You can choose whatever you want. You can spend your time however you like. I believe that's what it means to be human. No matter how painful it gets, even if you fall in the depths of despair and sorrow, yet... Even then, reaching out for hope. I believe that's the beauty of, of I believe that's the beauty of humanity, right there. So no matter what your choice would be, I want you to imagine that at the end of that outstretched hand, there is hope. Don't let your heart be consumed by sadness, anger, despair, or hopelessness. If you could do that just for me, I wouldn't care who you are, or what you become. I don't know what kind of hardship, sadness, or pain awaits you in the future. 
I can't say something so macho and irresponsible like, I'll protect you from all of it. That's not really me. So please don't stop imagining. Tomorrow will surely be a better day. I hope you believe that. There's no scientific basis. God won't guarantee it either. We really don't know what will happen tomorrow. It might even get worse. But please don't stop believing in your imagination and your love and courage. Come out. Good evening, my king. It's such a quiet night, isn't it? On such a beautiful night like this, one would want to gaze at the stars and sing, but it seems you don't have such leisure. No. She is a busy person, you know, managing 700,000 worlds and all. If I were her, I'd have gone mad and died long ago. I respect her despite being rude, lacking manners, and arrogant. I find her unbearable, you know. Why did you think that way on the contrary? It's because there's not even a fragment of her in my memories or in the corner of my heart? I guess that's why it felt strange. Is that a sign that you're beginning to regain your form as well? That's magnificent. The world must be fair. Do you agree with that, my king? It's a kind of a complaint for sure. However, that's just how I am. I'm not anyone's enemy. Ideally, I want everyone to be happy. Well, it's difficult, you know? Well then, my king, have you understood the rules of the game? What you desire, what the world desires, have you found the answer? That's magnificent. Many a person, even after reading old books until the very end, until they fall asleep alone in a dry bed, don't know what they desire. Have you found the answer? That's magnificent. A splendid march, my king, an eternal applause that never falters. Forgive me, my king, the proud reader of tales, the foreigner, the selector, our lord with a thousand names. It seems I have been a bit too nosy. After all, I have only three clicks left before my life runs out. Adding more blemishes at this point won't be a problem at all. Now what should I say at last? Ah, uh, well, there's no more time. Farewell, all the suffering. May you find peaceful silence. Aw. Now what should I do next? That's right, let's go. To the end of the story. Hmm. Hey. Hey me. I love you. I love you than anyone in this world. I need you. I can't do anything without you. I want to walk by your side forever. In the morning, I want to be the first one to meet your eyes and say good morning. At night, I want to be the last one to say good night to you and hold your hand. That's it. If I could have just that forever, I... I love you. So come with me. I need you. Huh? No. Mom isn't... She's not such a... Such a bad person. Stop it. So? Just because I've never been hugged, just because my name hasn't been called for years. But she's... Family. Grandpa asked me to take care of. No, mom. It is, she's smart. She went to a good university, unlike me. So she wouldn't get scammed. Those people are good people too. Mom, she's been smiling a lot lately. And her skin's looking real good. I think it's because she uses natural cosmetics. If we try hard enough, we can become rich too. What are you saying? I don't understand. That's not it. They're not those kind of people. They're not like that. They're neighbors, you know. I've known them since I was a kid. Hospital? No, I'm not going. I I'm trying for our future. Because if things stay the way they are now, our baby, how are we gonna raise her? Do we have that kind of money? If she grew up to be stupid like me, it would be so sad. Huh? No. Then, I'm going. Don't look at me like that. I haven't changed. Just like when we met. Don't look at me like I'm a monster. Don't look at me like I'm not a human anymore. Hmm. You came. Hey, look, the beautiful stars in the sky. Isn't it weird? This is my world yet. Why is the sky so beautiful? Even though I am so ugly. That fake sky is terribly beautiful. I... I was gonna come home to you. 
about three days after I went back to my parents' house. I was already at my limit in many ways, really. There were so many things to the point I had laughed. Expressing the complexity of the world in one word is too difficult, but... I wanted to see you as quickly as possible. I wanted to say sorry. I wanted to say goodnight to you again like I always did. But you... When I got home, you... All I have left is hate. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this. I feel like my heart is about to shatter into pieces like Jenga. I hate it being me existing as me anymore. It's... No, I can't bear it. If only there was a time machine. If I could time travel to the moment I was born, I would throw myself out of the window. <laughs> Yet, this place is what I wished for. We were granted our wishes by that filthy bone rabbit. A twisted world woven with the ugliest wish deep in our hearts. We were trapped in here. I... Do not want this. I just wanted you. I just wanted to spend time with you like we used to, just like before. Like the anime we used to watch on Sunday evenings, the same boring days. If I could just spend time with you, that would have been more than enough for me. But because I knew my ugliness, because I couldn't believe that I was a wonderful being who deserved a kind daily life. I'm not human anymore. I can't return to being human. I'm not wise enough to earnestly wish for my own happiness. From the bottom of my heart, I'm dumb, I'm miserable, I'm helpless. That's why I made a world, a place, like this. Uh, and what? What did you come here for? Do as you please. You understand the role, right? Did you bring the gun? Right, and make sure to save too. You've always been clumsy. Ah, uh, no way. Do we turn on auto save? We're both clumsy, aren't we? Hmm, are you okay? Ready? Okay, good. Then, let's bring the story to an end. It's you who will decide the fate of this world. It has to be you. That's why this world was wished for. Who am I? Who are you? What is this world? Shall we decide that now? Now it's judgment time. Morbing time? What is this shit? Ew. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I can read. Judgment time. Yes, you don't. You don't really need to point that. I want you to decide the definition of the world, the role of the story. I want you to imagine. Who am I? Who are you? I can no longer determine universal rules. So it's you. Only you can define us. You've asked me many questions, haven't you? What kind of human am I in your eyes? What do you see in this world? There's no right answer. I don't like stuff like that. Sorry for dragging you in our problem. I don't believe in God, but surely you must be too busy to spare a thought for a small fry like us. But you on the other hand have listened to our stories so attentively. There's no one more fitting to bring about the end of the world than you. Those who have committed sins must be judged, but that doesn't mean they will be forgiven. We can only wander endlessly in a maze with no exit, struggling futilely. 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 I think I said that word correctly. Still, I believe that the end will come. It's you who will bring about my demise. Who am I? Of course, this son is a girl who wanted a happy ending. Okay, do you define it? Yes. Who, who are you? You are the executioner who punishes sins. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Don't worry, we'll go through this a couple of times to find the true ending. I think, hopefully, it's auto-save. 
if it's not, that's kind of bullshit. Alright, I understand. I am your loved one and you are my judge. Okay, let's do that then. It's been a while. Did you get a haircut? Lost some weight? Wearing weird clothes? How have you been since then? Had any fun? What's it like in the afterlife? Did you watch over me? What's eternity like? Lonely? Sad? Painful? Or maybe... Do you remember? Back then at the aquarium, remember when we watched a school of sardines together? Yeah, I get your silver scales were sparkling, they were swirling around in those cylindrical tanks. Round and round without getting tired or lamenting. I thought it was scary. I wonder what those little ones are living for. Is there even a single meaning to their labor? When I said that, you laughed, didn't you? I remember every word, you know, because it was just so you. So that's why I like humans. Humans, only humans can find meaning in the futile swimming of an invisible aquarium. Only humans can overcome the primal craving of death with convol convol convoluted sophistry. Sophistry, sorry. That sounds a lot like hope, doesn't it? So that's why we can love the world. You were always, always like that. Scarily optimistic, frighteningly positive. I... Behind that, I knew how much pain there was. Because that's how it is, right? Creatures can only desire what they lack. You want to eat because there's no food. You want to drink because there's no water. You act brave because you lack courage. You crave affection because you lack hope. So that's why I like you. You tried to be stronger than anyone else because you believe you were weaker than anyone else. Because you wanted to love the world. And that's why I wanted to be loved by you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so stupid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for creating you in a miserable place like this. I'm sorry for wanting to see you again. Hey, the person who loved me the most in the world. The person I want to make happy the most in the world. Are you ready? You know it, right? You realized it, right? The reason you're here. The reason I created you. My nature, my dumbness. <laughs> I have nothing left. There's not a single reason to keep swimming in this transparent tank. So please, one last time. Just a little. Could you make me feel loved? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Sure. Thank you. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, round two, boys and gals. She's the creator of the world, granted the wish by someone the world was born is a world of loneliness. Yes, that's the definition of that. Mm -hmm. Who am I? I'm him. You are the creator of the world, granted the wish by someone this world was born. Okay then, I guess. Oh. Really? You have no regrets. That's a tougher choice than the end itself, you know that, right? Okay, you're determined to go no matter what. How many bullets is it? What's happening? Am I getting blasted in the butt? There's the truth. Okay, let's go. Let's find the true thing here, the reality. In that case, shall we go together? Alright, cool. You, I always thought you'd make it here. I know you wouldn't be content with the peaceful end and tirelessly seek out the truth. Like a roulette wheel spinning internally, eventually landing on every outcome. Or perhaps that's the shape of my soul. You are that kind of person. Greedy and ugly, striving for desires beyond one's means. Seeking only a happiness that doesn't suit one's stature. The form of a human being can be defined in a single world. word. Sorry, All of it is me. Me seen, seen from a different angle. We humans are perhaps all living beings are terribly complex, multifaceted, containing infinite source within. You believe in that, don't you? Do you remember I said it didn't I? This world is filled with contradictions. This world exists to hurt me, to confine, interrogate me, to confront me with my sins. Because I hate myself so much, I always wish you would go to hell. This is the world of my purgatory. Then why do you exist here? You neither strike me nor shower me with insults. Quietly, you continue to listen to me. Such a forgiving existence, there's no way I would forgive someone like me. 
That's the contradiction of this world. It's about you. You have a role equivalent to mine. Hmm, <laughs> you finally remember, don't you? Good, because every time I saw your first for your face, it hurt so much. I wanted to beat you to death. I couldn't help it. <laughs> we don't need any more preamble, do we? Yes. We are... You and I are... The same creatures. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm just a pitiful rabbit. Who I am doesn't really matter. Rabbit? Where am I? What are you doing? Now I will grant your wish. Your wish is your pain, your suffering, your lament. The most obscene elements that make up human nature. I will grant it now. No, I don't want that. I'm done. I don't want anything. I'm sorry you don't have the right to refuse. Then at least let me wish for world peace or something so all the unhappiness in the world will disappear. I'm sorry you don't have the right to choose. I can only grant your deepest wish. The contradictory longing that cannot be fulfilled even though you strongly desire it. Why would you do something so cruel? I'm sorry. I know this isn't a good thing, but we had to fulfill the wishes of all 700,000 of you. So at least I hope you will create a happy world. Happiness? I would never wish for something like that. You? Your world? Okoze Isana, is this the kind of world you wish for? Introspective, self punishing filled with la lament and anguish. Unclear, pessimistic, unable to forgive easy happiness. So what? Is it because my world is impure? Are you supposed to be some kind of angel or something? Are you punishing ugly me trying to reform me like in the movie It's a Wonderful Life? Hey, that's, a, that's actually a decent movie. No, we are not such beings. We are simply carrying out what needs to be done. Even if you consider it just a metaphor, it doesn't matter. But even so, I still wish... I hope that you will someday reach a wonderful place. And I arrive at this end, at the end of the story. Here I am. Now let's open our eyes. Oh my god, it was you all along? Lieutenant! So I am. Yeah, I am. Two of the same being- Whoa, that's a mind- we are just two people who looked at me from different angles, perspectives. Finally got a good look at your face, huh, officer? A woman pitiful and eerie, with exactly the same face as yours, laughed. You pulled your military cap down low and glared at her. Don't make such a scary face. That's impossible. There's no creature in existence that hates me more than I do. Look at the street. No one's here except for us. All there is is hatred. Everyone's just looking out for themselves. In the first place, I am the owner of a terribly closed world. This is my world, my wish, a landscape that belongs only to me, where no one else can interfere filled with my murderous intent. Officer, Colonel, you are me, I am you. You're not him, of course not. I can't wish for him, I don't have that right. We are not strong enough to seek such a convenient conclusion. Waves crashing, stars shining, wind caressing my cheeks. Pause. In my world, even the faintest beauty exists. Do you understand how much of a salvation that is? Or if I were more open, a more open person, someone who could truly empathize with others, a wiser person. Perhaps more intelligence, a broader environment could have been here. You know, like the Big Bang if you wish for it. You gotta create the universe if only I could reproduce logical rules like molecules. But I could never do it. I'm dumb. I know nothing. Only after losing... Only after losing everything do I finally realize my foolishness. Still desperately wallowing in self-pity? How pathetic. What an annoying bitch you are. You need help shutting up. We just said that and end up laughing together. We're the same after all, just playing slightly different roles. You know now, huh? Check the feeling of the gun in your pocket? Yeah, you've noticed the rules of this world, haven't you? Yeah, who am I? You are our sin, our weakness, our misery. Who are you? I am our resolve, our decision, our will. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming this far. I'm talking to you. Thank you for bringing her. You oh, thank. Oh, wow. She's thanking us, sleepyheads. We are indecisive, unable to believe in ourselves, amorphous, pathetic, and too afraid of the world. Because you were there watching, because you pushed us forward, we can start. This is not a world of judgment. This is a world of killing. A world where I and I fight to the death, deciding which one of us is right. 
Sin and Determination clash and the winner decides the future of this story. Pywin will forever drown in sin and regret, living miserably a hundred times worse than death. Crying every day will continue to live in wretchedness polluted like moving corpses. If you win, come to think of it, what happens then? I don't really care about you, so I don't know. If I win, we'll become human. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't get it. Did you really forget or are you just pretending to forget? I created this world to become human. To talk, to cry, to laugh, the most beautiful monster on earth. For that, you are in my way. Yes, you're in my way too. Something as decent as you isn't suitable for someone as tainted as me. If that's the case, words are unnecessary now. Yup, that's really how it is, huh? Thank you, thank you so, so much. If we were just as alone, we wouldn't have had the courage. We probably would have sought an end. We wouldn't have even reached a starting line. Because you tried to understand me. Thank you. So... So what do we do? That's the story. This is the story of me murdering me to pieces. Now, let's start the real story. What's happening? Oh, what's happening? No, I'm, I'm really confused now. It's a gigantic dick! With a bright red body and long neck, its face decayed, melting away human-like mims, lost, dripping with blood from head to toe. It is me. You are me, I am you. Why aren't you hanging yours? Oh. I'm not reading all that, that's a lot of stuff, and it's hurting my ears, this is like, scratching my eardrums, or ear canal. Just intoxicated by the word love. Ah, uh, this is a hateful monster. It embodies all the things that are negative about a human. So how do we win this? Do we, what's the choice here? Hmm. Huh? What's with that tiny handgun? Shoot! Shoot, goddammit, my ears are about to burst. The hell man did she just give up come on get the fuck out of here yes but you don't stray from your aim colonel no my master finally truly we meet you are can you see my face can you hear my voice my very noble master who is this yes i am you one of yous when you created this world you separated a part of yourself your experience your husband died from a seizure of his chronic illness. If he had been there, you would have known where the medicine was immediately. So, yes, he was like that. That's why he died. Damn, that's horrible. Our husband died like that? Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a daughter. You, you were certainly not smart, but you tried desperately. You tried desperately. So she looks, she resembles, our, she, that's our daughter right there. That's what I think. Even so, you still carry the sins of dec decades ago in your heart. Wishing for such a helpless world. No, I'm not reading all that shit, man. My master, noble master, my queen who cannot escape from sin. Oh, this is the other part of what being human is. Another aspect. The experience part. And that's true, experience never betrays. Alright, let's see. Let's see uh, how we gonna how we gonna end her like this. 
I don't want to redo the past. I don't want to embrace eternal silence. Hope? Is this hope? Now, what is a human? Yup, dreams and hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even though it's kind of cliche, it, it kind of falls into that IRL. Come with me in a world of your imagination. So, how do we defeat this thing? We lose hope against the spear. The golden moon of hope. Okay, that's it. Do we actually kill her? Do we like get merged with her? Resurrection! It becomes bleach, you know? Yes, calm down. My sin, my la lament, my core. You have supported my shape. You are necessary for me. Without you, I surely wouldn't have been able to live. But now, I have to overcome you. I have to defeat you! I must! The path to the future, the precious guideposts. I can't walk forward, I can't even reach for the starry sky. Bring it on, bitch. I'll kill you and tear you apart till you're in pieces. Sevo. Whoa, what? what's happening? Another mini game with one heart. Oh, 520 HP. Uh, no. A bullet of determination. This is an act that brings severe pain, but do not fear, do not hesitate. You'll be alright. Now. What do you mean? Cock the gun. This time I chose the right answer, bitch. I bite down my ring finger with my back teeth. Wait. Are you truly willing to throw everything away? I'm not forgetting shit, crazy me. It is what it is. Gotta move on. Yes, sir. The warmth in, my, in this chest, I believe it will never disappear. So that's why I have to kill you. You get it, right? You were once thought the beauty of the sky. Just because of the person who thought us is gone, if we forget how to look up at the stars again, what's the point of it all? Those who are left behind have to smile. Like idiots, we have to keep walking. That's the only thing you're supposed to do. Alright, yeah? Huh. Well then, yeah. Shall we do this? It's over. It's over. Oh my god, she put a cap on her ass. Oh my goodness. How much time has passed since then, I wonder. I was so desperate so I don't remember much. The moon rose many times. The seasons passed many times. By the time several stars had broken. She was no longer moving. Ah, uh, did I really lose? It's a terrible sight, isn't it? Did we really need to go this far? Was it not enough to, to deceive ourselves and somehow make peace? I tried all the time. Even I tried to do things right so many times. Tried to make peace, but that's a problem. If we can't have peace with, um, with ourselves, within ourselves, maybe it's a war. That's the answer. Hey, are you really okay with this? We could stay here, it's fine. Even if we soak in eternal regret, it doesn't matter anymore. We no longer have anything to left, left to protect. Even then, you still... Yeah. Okay, right. Thank you. Because I had you, I... Yeah. So goodbye. You're the only one who truly understood me. And the best friend of my life. Goodbye, comrade, king of rebellion. You should follow your own path, the black journey that extends into the dark night. When you stop in fear, I'm always be I will always be by your side. 
I will always be beside you, holding your hand. Good luck, goodbye. Finally! Finally, we can get the fuck out of this weird universe. My queen! Lieutenant, from now on you can manage on your own, can't you? Let's go together. Alright. Colonel, you're probably a terribly ugly human being. Fragile, weak, and perhaps filled with darkness. Everyone is! Even me, sleepyheads. Even me. Like the light sparkling in the sea, I think you are something precious. You're suddenly giving me a lot of praise. Eh, because I am you, yet not you. It is what it is, right? Thank you, truly. So then, let's say tomorrow will surely be a wonderful day. Well then, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Aww. Aww. I got this feeling in my bones. It feels electrical. Dun, dun, dun. Once we were human, we dream of the day we can become human again. Like famished spirits falling to hell. Like a sewers wandering the battlefield. The day we can become something right, something we once believed in, while being harshly interrogated by the monster dwelling deep within our hearts. With our thirst unquenched, with no one to hear our screams. But I am human. Yeah, that's true. We all are. Some weird way. This whole game is about an introspective, you know, fighting against yourself. And maybe by the end of it, you become better. Better you, a better person than you were before. It doesn't mean you're different. You've changed, that's for sure, but you're still you. But just something, something else. Just something else that changed. A little, just something in there just mended once again. What the fuck am I yapping about? This is the ending, everyone. Far away. Yep. Oh my god, it's Brother Moon. It's dawn. The sky was terribly beautiful. Let's go. Let's go as far as possible. Even if I'm all alone. And if no one is beside me. Even if the future is pitch black. Because I, we are monsters of dreams and hope. Ah, it feels so good. Well, I feel good as well. It ended. My goodness. I had to do this like four times. The so first ending was like, that was a fake ending. And then... Oh.